What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining for episode two of Blade Talk, where I'll be talking about my thoughts and opinions on some recent Blade updates and topics. Um, today, I'll also be doing my 10-month review on the Mesmer John Bellino Thrones that I've been skating for about 10 months now. Um, so I've been waiting to do that for a while, and I have a couple of things to say, so stick around for that. Um, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first topic I want to talk about is the new Them Skates. Clark's Originals collaboration. Um, it's a blue 9 skate with a cream frame, release aside with two uh, Clark's Original shoes um, that one matches the skate, one doesn't. It's just, you know, reverse colorway. I think it's pretty cool. I think that anything with an outside brand that has the reach that Clark's Originals does says a lot if they're willing to take their time and collab with them skates. You know, these are brands that already have their own market. They already have their own clout. And for them to think that it's beneficial for them to do a collaboration with them, it says a lot on what John Julio is doing. And big shout out for him doing these things. I mean, this isn't the first collaboration he's done. Um, He had one, too, with Brain Dead and a few other companies. Um, I do hear a lot of people talking about the skate not being up to par on what they thought it was going to be or there's not much that change but honestly you know you're, you're paying for the collaboration i mean you're paying for that this is going to push blading and push them skates into the market into into the homes into the eyes and the screens of people that don't know shit about rollerblading and they may not ever rollerblade in their life but they'll appreciate it for hey they look cool or hey, I might want to try that, you know, whether it's big wheeling or like, you know, with the 1980 skate and the big wheel skate that they came out with or, you know, aggressive through seeing the team skate through the ads and the billboards and the edits. So either way, it's going to expose people to what we do and it's more eyes on the things that we do and gives a reason to keep going. You know, anything that's going to help the sport grow positively, like it's a good thing. I mean, people complaining about there isn't a lot of technological changes to the skate. I mean, when pro skateboarders get pro decks, the next year when they get another deck, the only thing that changes is the graphic. You know, if it works, it works. Why are you going to change it? Why are you going to go out of the way to change it just because something else is attached to it? You know, that's their version of the skate. is no different than Retro Jordans coming out. And it's the same, same sneaker, different colorway. You know, but you're paying for the reasons on what makes it cool or makes it special to you. You know, and, you know, again, shout out to anyone that's doing anything that's that's putting blading in in front of other people and really pushing to see the sport. Okay, the second topic I want to talk about is the pre-order release for the Dominic Bruce Mesmer Pro Skate. Um, really excited about those. As soon as I saw the, the pictures leak from the Bashi Pope um, weekend and saw John John skating, the green skates and a couple other people, um, the colorway sick. It's like, uh, I, th I think, a frog theme. Uh, all the artwork was done by Don Bruce himself, which is pretty awesome. And as an artist, like I can appreciate that. And as an artist, I can appreciate what Mesmer is doing anyway with the artwork on top, uh, underneath the sole plates. You know, I think that's a really cool idea that's never been done before. And yes, they wear down, but so does a skateboard graphic. It's, it's really just in the moment, and it's just a cool, you know, thing to spice up the skate a little bit. Um... I don't know when they're going to start shipping those skates, but I know they just announced the pre the, the pre-order. Um, some really dope fucking marketing. I mean, my favorite shot is Don Bruce doing the wall ride on the bus, you know, being from New York, growing up in New York, you know, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, and, you know, congratulations, Don Bruce, and looking forward to seeing more from Mesmer. Uh, third topic I want to talk about is I heard Lawrence from 5050 is doing a boot company which is pretty awesome um he's actually based in my hometown right now well not my hometown but where i'm at right now so really looking forward to seeing what's what's being done with that and you know and, and seeing how that develops because he has a lot of experience in the, in the industry and definitely a lot of knowledge and i think 50 50 and chroma and everything that he's doing is really going to help shape um, the industry over time more than what it has already. So big shout out to Lawrence and looking forward to seeing that. 
Um, last topic I want to talk about before I do my review is um, the Feinberg Aeon release. It's a 25th anniversary skate, you know, showcasing Aaron Feinberg's first Pro Throne, um, which was one of my favorite skates of all time. It's basically a light gray thrown Mesmer boot. If anyone who, who wasn't around back then, it's the same thing. Um, but they turned it into an Aeon skate. I think that's awesome. Aaron Feinberg is a big, big contribution to the sport. I think um, I don't hear his name coming up enough on some of the things he's done. Uh, definitely all the things he's done with Mind Game and Solomon. You know, I have a pair of Feinberg. Where are they? Here we go. Feinberg Solomon's right here. I mean, this is the first ever UFS skate. You know, like that, that's, that's history right there. And when the skate came out, it's around the time I started skating. So everyone had them and, you know, Feinberg was killing it. There was a lot, a lot of people on Solomon that was murdering and Vinnie Minton, but, uh, definitely hype on that. Might actually try to pick those up. Love the colorway. So, you know, shout out to USD for doing that. Looks sick. Keep it. Okay. So lastly, I want to give my 10 month review on the setup I'm skating right now. Um, it's been a long time since I've skated a single setup for that long. Um, I'm definitely a person that is interested in trying new things and jump setups to set up you know, pretty often. And especially in the past, like I was known for just like Frankensteining skates all the time. You know, I had a homie Akbar that like, you couldn't leave skates at his house for longer than, you know, an hour because dude was going to hacksaw the shit out of them and turn them into some something else, you know, which was pretty awesome. But, you know, sometimes it's like, damn, bro. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I usually don't skate the same setup, but I've been on this setup since January. You know, I, I skated them out the box for a while. I skated them stock for a while. And, um... It wasn't until maybe last month that, you know, the wheels started really wearing down to the point that I needed to swap them out. And, you know, I popped the laces and the liners. And so far, the support hasn't really changed. I think maybe they're a little looser more because I don't have the laces and the liners. I have bad ankles, so I really, like, choke my skates. And, like, these laces here, the ones that came in the Mesmers were pretty thin, you know, I expect that from most liner laces. They, they broke pretty easily, but, you know, if your laces are long enough, you can just tie them in and you're good. Um, I did swap out the original Mesmer laces, but that was just for the color. You know, I, I like having certain highlights in my skate and color coordinating things. I've always been like that. Um, yeah, I mean, the sole plates, the sole plates are awesome. I mean... From the first, the, the first session I had, you know, I didn't even have to use that much wax on what I was skating. And usually it's pretty sticky, you know, anyone who skates you know, angle iron and skate parks, like, you know how that can get. And, you know, the first session I had jumped on, sold it first try and it just slid like, like nothing, man. It, it was really smooth. The sound it makes when it locks on is very solid. Um, they do have like a damp, a sound dampening pad inside the sole plate where when you land you get that like real loud thud instead of the clicking noises and it sounds like your skates are gonna fall apart um i hate that it's one thing about skating razors that i could not stand because razors are amazing skates too um the skates itself like it they're, they're good skates they just sound like shit you know but yeah these are really solid um they came with the Kaiser Fluid 4 frames, Fluid 5 frames, I'm not sure which ones they are, correct me in the comments, um, but they came with a flat setup, and coming off of any rocker setup, I was a little nervous about that, you know, I used to skate flat back in the day, but, you know, it was things were a little different then, I did get a lot of wheel bites, so I wasn't really leaning towards that, but I, I'm, a, I'm a tall guy, so... I like to be able to roll smoothly. I, the, the riding any rocker was just a miserable experience. I don't know how we were doing it back in the day on 54 millimeter wheels, any rocker or freestyle and skating around the city. I mean, I think that was just determination. 
But yeah, the flat setup with the Kaiser frames um, made it really easy. It took maybe five minutes of just like royaling a ledge and grooving them up a little bit to get almost no wheel bite ever. You know, I, I don't really have an issue with that. I mean, I don't know if that's a skill thing. I don't know if that's the hardware, but you know, if anyone who doesn't know wheel bite is when you're grinding and your wheel hits the ledge or the rail and throws you forward or stops you from sliding, which can be pretty dangerous. But yeah, I mean, I skate street a lot, skate a lot of ledges and I rarely have a problem with that. Um, another thing people I've heard people say is the sizing. Um, I have sizing issues with skates in general, so I really didn't overthink that. Um, I knew my foot was going to fit the throne boot because I skated thrones for so many years. It really was a liner thing. Um, when I did get the liner, they were a little tight. But in my opinion, a lot of times you just have to break skates in until they fit right. I mean, it's like a baseball glove. Sometimes you got to break them in a little bit. And I know a lot of people just want their stuff to be amazing out the box. But unfortunately, that's not how things work. I did throw them in the oven and heat mold them once and that made a huge difference and after the first session like it, it was it was a little tight but it just loosened up loosened up loosened up to the point that it didn't even bother me anymore and again this is a person i'm a person that skated m12s which has a similar issue and you know they, there were ways around that um the responsiveness of the skate is amazing the quality of the plastic is amazing i mean it, it's not cheap plastic it doesn't look like a toy it's not falling apart. I mean, they're falling apart now because I've been skating them. Like, right now I'm cracking my sole plates. That's from doing set slides. But, like I said, for 10 months and damn near out the box, it's a really good skate. It was worth the money. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to, to what they're going to do in the future. I think what Billy's doing with Mesmer is amazing. Um... I do any of the companies right now. Shout out to like Frankie Morales, Monte Livingston, John Julio, Lawrence. Like you guys are all taking something that we love and making it better. So appreciate that and keeping it going because there was a point in time where I didn't think I was going to skate anymore. Like I had no real drive to skate anymore. Um, and unfortunately, I kind of regret that. But, you know, I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to see what's being done in rollerblading right now. There's a lot of good things. There's a lot of negatives too, but you know, that's always going to be there. Um, and I think people just need to focus on what's going to make themselves and everything else better instead of focusing on what's holding you back. Like always strive to be better, always strive to be the best, um, the best that you can be. It doesn't have to be the best at the session or you don't have to be doing hurricane topsoles and like people say and everything, but you know, like, to take some pride in what you do if this is what we do then you know let's show people why we love it so much you know a lot of people you know they'll down talk blading because they think it's easy until they put some blades on their feet or they think it's doofy until they see someone with style and you see the difference you know everyone thinks someone's doofy when they're dancing on the dance floor until someone comes in and starts break dancing and killing it you know like sometimes you just got to give it a shot not everyone's the same everyone starts from some some uh, everyone starts from somewhere but like you know, let, let's not downplay everything, but let's take some pride in what we're doing. You know, like, I want to see the sport progress. I want to see people really push it. There's plenty of guys out there that deserve to be sponsored. But in the same time, like, they can do better than what a sponsor could do for them just by putting themselves out there. So don't hesitate. I mean, if you feel like you're that good and you feel like you, you deserve a shot, show people why. You know, we have a lot of outlets these days that we didn't have back in the day. You know, back in the day, it was a sponsor me tape and it wasn't like how it is now. They can whip out your phone and film a sponsor me tape. You know, if you didn't know how to edit or you didn't have a computer, you didn't have a camera. Like, how are you going to do that? And there was some guys in the hood that were better than some guys that are around now. And they didn't care about filming. But can you imagine if they did? Can you imagine if they had the means to do that? You know, there are people that don't have the outlets that some of us have and we I think a lot of people take that for granted you know like I grew up seeing a lot of guys that should have been pro just like quit because it wasn't doing anything for them and no matter how much they loved it and how good they were 
there was no way for them to get what they needed to get in the eye, to, in front of the eyes that they needed to, to, to get them in front of. You know, now things are a little different. So I, I, I really encourage people to really get out there and do that. You know, even if you're not the, the best skater in the world, just people need to see people doing it and see people trying. Like, you're never going to get better if people aren't helping each other and, and pushing you. You know, and that being said, you know, I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody, you know, gets out on skates if they can. If the weather's good, you know, the weather's nice out here. So hopefully I can get out. It's hard with the kids and the family, but, you know, that's my sanity. So, you know, thank you for watching. If you did like it and you want to see more content, um, like and subscribe. Uh, I do want to do a video skating those Solomons and putting them together for a little bit. Have a couple of sessions on them. You know, let's see, see what happens. You know, shout out Robert Regina and Robert Canecio for hooking me up. Those are the homies for life. And, you know, if you want to see that happen a little faster, throw it in the comments saying you want to see me skate those Solomons. Uh, I have some shadows I want to skate to. Um, trying to make them work for my feet. Uh, if you want to see that, let me know and I'll let you know how, what I think about them. Um, I did use to skate shadows back in the day for a little bit, so... I do have opinions on the differences between the new shadows and the old shadows, but I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Thank you for watching.